My first year right out of college, I was hired by the Forest Service as a firefighter. A couple of times, my crew and I went up to the uh, lookout in, in the forest I was working on at the time. And it was just an incredible place. I, th I thought, what a spectacular perch. Just fell in love with that lookout tower and then went off to my, my separate career. And 34 years later, I'm retired and I saw an article in the paper that they needed volunteers to staff the lookout tower in, in, here in the Cleveland. And, and I thought, holy smoke, I, I've, got, I've got to do that. And, and I haven't regretted a minute of it. I love it. The satisfaction of being the first report on a smoke and knowing that you were the one to pick it up and get the uh, fire equipment started and potentially have stopped a major wildfire from developing, uh, just hard to describe. Pretty much anybody that has lived in San Diego County for any length of time realizes the dangers that we face from wildfires. A number of years ago, it was suspected that technology would take over for all of the fire lookouts, but they have discovered that even now, nothing beats a pair of human eyes up there picking up that first little puff of smoke. Probably the best way to state it is we are an extra set of eyes and ears for the Forest Service and the state park system. The, the two towers that we staff, one is High Point Lookout Tower, which is deep in the Cleveland National Forest on the uh, northeast side of Mount Palomar. The other one is Booker Lookout Tower on the west side of the mountain, and its main views are to the west out all the way to the Pacific Ocean overlooking Valley Center, Paula, and Palma. We're looking over hundreds of thousands of acres of wildland in San Diego and Riverside counties. As a volunteer job, I, I can't think of a of a more enjoyable and uh, more valuable job. We have about 85 volunteers that help us staff the two lookouts in San Diego County. We're a chapter within a national organization, all volunteer. What's gratifying to us is to be able to catch that smoke before we ever hear any engines being dispatched to it. We know that we were the first ones to see it and uh, otherwise it might not have been reported until it was too late to successfully control it. So here at the uh, Bucher Fire Lookout here in the Palmer Mountain State Park, our tower and also the, the Fire Lookout program is very unique because we're bringing history back to life. We actually have a living history program. Our fire lookouts are trained on the history of the tower, though they interpret uh, tower history, what it was like to live in a tower, what it was like to work in a tower. We want people to walk away from the tower saying, I can't wait to bring my grandkids here someday. People walk away from here having an appreciation for all the effort that goes out to stopping fires in the early stages. The value of the service that the FFLA provides will stand for itself and people will see that, yeah, we just can't replace human eyes up at those altitudes and there will be fire seasons till the end of time and you need these eyes and ears up here. The Forest Fire Lookout Association is a really important partner for us and their volunteer contributions are really incalculable to the public. It's the ultimate smoke detector is a, is a fire lookout tower. It's sort of an unseen role and, uh, it's, and yet it's a real vital one. It's just something that you can't replace with high-tech anything. These folks are now a part of the wildland firefighting community. To be honest, I can't really imagine operating without their assistance. So we really want to see us continue growing the organization and seeing more volunteers because we're very reliant on that uh, in this effort that's so, such a vital importance for uh, people who live in Southern California.